Captain America has always been a symbol of hope, honor, and light in the MCU. He's not only the American flag wrapped around a super soldier. The qualities and values he had were unparalleled. And for someone to take up that mantle, not only it's a huge responsibility, but there's a lot of weight to uphold. Especially if that someone thinks he's not the right fit to be Captain America. That essentially is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier for you. And guys, this is my real view. Let's roll the thing, shall we? Mr. Barnes, why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to drop. So what's our plan? Hey. Great. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier takes place six months after the events of Avengers Endgame. Sam Wilson has been handed the mantle of Captain America, but he has doubts of living up to what it means to be not a symbol for America, but a symbol of hope and honor for the world. World governments are in disarray as they recover from the blip, with individuals still believing in the old world order. It's up to Sam alongside Bucky to pick up the pieces and find out what it really means to be Captain America. I absolutely love the themes for the entire series. It's not the typical Marvel superheroes saving the day and, and them making personal bad decisions that will affect the entire world. Nah. It's racism. It's symbolism. And it's a whole lot of espionage that you don't really think that would affect us. You know, it's not a typical spies and world domination. Nah, it's so much deeper than that. I'm not gonna go too much into it, but the show focuses on something that everyone overlooks, especially in today's society, and how it can be easily fixed if we just simply listen to one another, rather than just taking action from whatever we see. To simplify it, the show focuses on that one thing we were always thought since we were young. Never judge a book by its cover. Yes, Sam has the burden of carrying that shield and living up to the name of Captain America after Steve gave him that shield, but like that part is a given, right? I mean, all of us want to know what the hell happened after Endgame. Like Thanos, everyone snapped back into existence. We don't know what happened to the Avengers. That's pretty much straightforward. But what we really want to know, and what we think that we didn't know that we want to know, is what happened to the world. Is everything going okay? And this show shows all that. It shows how much impact has been made in world governments since no, that. I think what I didn't like about the show was its focus because I was more enticed about what was going on around the world rather than the main storyline which was who's gonna be the next Captain America. Maybe it's a little obvious who's gonna be the next Captain America, you know, knowing that if you've read the comics. But that's still the show's weak point. If your backstory or underlying story pulls away focus from the main characters, then the viewers will be really immersed in the story, which is a good thing. Or it's another way of saying your main character isn't good enough for the viewer. Then again, immersion into a fictional world isn't really a bad thing. But of course, in the end, it's up to the viewer of how they consume it and how they see it as it is. Each episode ended with not like a cliffhanger, but more like a, oh, that kind of happened moment. So I feel like this show is more of a show where you would sit down and binge watch the entire series rather than it being consumed weekly, like WandaVision or any other shows out there. But that's what I love about Marvel, you know? It's not only about their heroes, it's also about the world they make and how their heroes, their, their action, the action they take has consequences to the world around them. Of course, Marvel hires amazing scriptwriters and guys, they've impacted us with words that still resonates with us to this very day. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean, what words I mean particularly. Assemble. I love you 3000. What's the verdict? I think you guys should definitely watch this show. So this is a huge yes. 
I'm gonna put aside me being a huge Marvel fan and being super unbiased right now, right? I'm gonna be really unbiased. <laughs> the Falcon and the Winter Soldier feels like a show or a movie that has a hidden message. A message that tells us to think twice of the actions of others as not everything is as it seems. Overall, I think the show is great. I want to see more of this. I want to see more of espionage that Marvel can make. And I can tell you, they make really good espionage. I guess the last Marvel movie that had something like this would be Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and Black Panther. It's been a while since Marvel did an espionage. And this is, this takes the cake. Oh, and the banter between Sam and Bucky is just what you expect after seeing a scene like this. Can you move your scene up? No. So, people, if you want to catch it, guys, it's out on Disney Plus right now, along with other marvelous shows. But till then, world's yours.